With graduation and wedding season ahead, you might be thinking about gifts to family and other loved ones. Maybe you've heard about gift taxes and might be worried about how that might affect your decisions. Well, the good news is it's okay to be generous if you can afford it. Here are the top three tips about gifting that you should know about. Number one, for many people, Gift tax limits are really more about paperwork than actual taxes owed. Let's say you give your son $75,000. You would not have to pay any taxes on that gift and neither would your son. But wait, you might say, isn't the annual gift tax exclusion just $17,000? That's where the confusion lies. In this situation, what you'd have to do is file a gift tax return showing that you gave your son $58,000. That's $75,000 minus the $17,000 annual tax-free gift. Currently, under federal law, an individual can give away up to $12.92 million in his or her lifetime and not pay any gift taxes on that amount. Gifts over your annual gift tax limit count against that 12.92 million lifetime exemption. What that means is that the $58,000 taxable gift that you gave in the example would lower the limit of what your heirs could receive tax-free when you die. Now, with such a high limit, many people won't incur any gift tax. But that brings me to number two. Number two, be aware the lifetime exemption is set to drop to $6 million in 2026. If you expect your estate will exceed that amount, please, you need to call our law firm about gift strategies. Number three, limits increase. The IRS adjusts the gift tax, so you really have to look at that annually. Right now, it's $17,000 and it's up to $34,000 married couples filing jointly. And so it applies on a annual basis. So here's an example. If you give $34,000 to each of your grandkids and your kids, your cousins and neighbors, it will be without having to file gift tax paperwork. Imagine you want to help your son and his partner make a down payment on a home. If you're married, you can give them up to $68,000 that's $17,000 times four, two recipients, two givers, before you have to fill out any extra forms. Gifting is a great tool that every family should be aware of. And it is complicated. So you should really talk to law firms like us who can help explain whether gifting is the right strategy for you and your family. Please click below for an appointment with our firm and we would be happy to talk about gift tax and estate planning and make sure it's the right choice for you.